What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. It is 6pm on Monday and so as we are fully aware, the um, the Saudi League team of the season should be, should, be, should be with us here today. I'm hoping we get a Saudi League player to play for. Um, I completely understand if EA don't want to give that. Doesn't look to be too much there. Let's go to the store. If there are lightning rounds, they are probably going to sell out mad quick. So there's... Okay, so there's just 550Ks. I'll spend my coins on these. Um, let's see if we can uh, hit one of these new cards. Um, and then we'll go and have a look back at the uh, the objectives and stuff. Um, so the Saudi Pro League team of the season so far is here, say EA. Oh, man. Oh, I mean... Ooh, that's not bad. I mean, there's, there's a couple of uh, low-tier cards there. There's a couple of brilliant cards there. There's a couple of really, really nice cards there. We'll take a look at the cards uh, afterwards, guys. Um, we do get a walkout here. Spanish walkout, not interested. Of course, now the EFL is no longer in packs. So uh, we get a PK there. Always nice for the um, the grind, so to speak. Um, yeah, so there is a, uh, a Giovinco that looks genuinely spectacular. A Hamdala that looks very good. An Anselmo that looks quite nice. Gomez that looks a bit meh. Um, there is an Amrabat that looks a bit meh. There is a Petros. Doesn't he have a League SBC card? He looks all right. Mike on the centre back looks a bit meh. Carlos Eduardo looks a bit meh. We're going to get one here? No. Uh, Al Mayouf looks terrible. And Al uh, Hanam. Al Hanam. Looks like just bang average. So there's, there's like three or four um, very good ones. And then three or four quite average ones. And then three or four quite terrible ones. Uh, it is only just the one squad as well. It's just six, nine. It's just 11 players. Oh my God, we didn't even get a board. So we, we didn't pack one. Um, we'll have a look now. Now that we've had a couple of minutes into the game, hopefully EA will have uh, either updated objectives if there are going to be any. And if there aren't, then that's too bad. Let's have a look. There you go. Team of the season so far, Romarinho. Oh, wow. Is this all squad battles as well? Squad battles or rivals? Score three using Saudi Pro League players. Score two in two separate matches using a player with minimum 85 pace. I mean, that everyone will do that just by accident. Assist a goal in three rivals matches using players with four-star skill moves. That's easy as well. And score and assist in four rivals wins using Brazilian players. Not too bad at all. So that's nice and easy to get. It's an 89 rated team of the season. It's got decent looking stats. We'll have a look at like the rest of it in a second. The in games and, and the things that are going to actually uh, pertain to being useful or not. And then let's have a look at the SBCs that are there for today. Christian Juanca. <laughs> or, or is it Guanca? I don't know. Is it? Anyway, uh, he's here. Um, oh man, for a centre mid, three star, three star sucks. His physicals are quite nice. You know, his aggression's a little low, but his physicals outside of that are nice. His pace is brilliant. His shooting is quite good for a centre mid. His passing isn't the best and his dribbling isn't the best. So an artist chem style on him might make him a really, really, really nice option. Um, and it's only one squad as well. Now, it might be valuable for you guys... An 84 rated plus a team of the week. Only 65 chem, so that's not too bad. Um, might be valuable to complete him, to put him into like the guaranteed Premier League team of the season SBC that's ultimately going to come. Uh, David De Gea is there as well. Kieran Trippier. Premier League challenge for the gold players pack and Wilfred and Didi are still there. Premier League upgrade. Repeatable. Wait, EA said these were only going to be there for one day. 11 rares. No, get out of here, man. 11 Premier League rares. That's disgusting. Honestly, that is disgusting. 11, I'll do, I'll do a couple, but um, I mean, man, if, if you've got a club stacked, your Premier League rares right now are about to go through the goddamn roof, man. They're all going to be worth like 2 or 3k. You know what people are like? You know what people are like. They will happily, gladly, and willingly give up 
anything and everything for these packs. Me the same, man. So exactly gold, rares 11, Premier League 11. God damn, man. For a four-player pack of untradeables, <laughs> that's crazy. I rate it. I'll probably do loads because it's fun. Um... There's an 82 plus upgrade there as well. What's this going to cost us? What? How, how many legs am I going to give up for this? Seven rares, exactly gold, 30 chemistry. Ah, oh, man. Seven rares, exactly gold. So the chem is like, like you'll accidentally complete that. One, two, three, four, five. I have four common golds as well, though. So it's a seven, four split. Again, it's... it's it's a bit expensive, isn't it? EA, EA just know, man. EA just know that people are out here like with loads of assets. And then a team of the week upgrade, nothing on basic, nothing on advanced. Did they give us the new player? Bundesliga, no. Let's have a look at the Premier League and the Saudi League. So the Saudi League, not yet. So apparently that's coming tomorrow anyway. And it was always due to come tomorrow. And the Premier League... Also not yet. Um, so that's quite sad. The championship obviously is there already. Um, I, I mean, this is interesting. This is interesting. So we've got an 82 plus rated player. Well, I want to go and have a look at the team um, specifically. So we, I mean, we've literally got an 82. It's, no, I mean, there you go. So that that's just not worth it. Um there's the Premier League upgrade, the 82 plus, and that Christian Hoanka. <laughs> what a great name. I mean, th listen, man, doing a couple of these might just be fun for the band. Look, I mean, we haven't got boards there either. It's just four Premier League rares. Now, the beautiful thing is, every time you do one, you get four back, right? So, you know, if you every time you do three, essentially, you get one for free, right? Um, because it's that's just the way it is. Right, so you get 12 players back. Now, of course, if you pack something big out of those 12 players, there you go. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, I mean, it, it is going to come in fairly expensively, I think. Um, I, I ha oh, my God, somebody just tweeted me his player pack, and he got De Bruyne and Allison. I CBA with that sort of stuff, man. I need some of that. Now, you can, now whew. Man, now, it's there for three days. So the Sudamericana grind, I see the memes in the chat, guys. Drink a shot every time he mentions the Sudamericana grind. Um, the Sudamericana grind offers enough packs back that you will get enough Premier League golds generally over time to the point where you'll be able to build one or two of these for, not for nothing, um, but not as like a super expensive setup you know every time you hit yourself one or two premier league golds um you'll then be able to just fill in some gaps and then get four back hit one or two premier league goals so you, you could probably like level this down to about 5k per pack um if you were doing it smartly you know uh we'll do one more and then i actually want to go and have a look at the saudi team of the season and the in-game stats of the players um, and then I might be back a little bit later on tonight, probably with a draft to play with the Saudi players, but possibly with uh, some, up, some, you know, possibly with 100 or so of these. Um, could be quite fun. Come on. There we go. We've got boards. Come on. Be a blue. Be a blue. It's not a blue. It's not a walkout. Okay. That's, that's a waste. And also then I suppose you can use these in other SBCs, right? If you get 84s and 80... Oh, never mind. Um, if you do get 84s and 85s and 86s and, and whatnots, um, you can use them in in other other areas in the game i suppose so there's a lot of there's a lot of efficiency that could be had so to speak let us go into um here so hoanka and where's the other guy uh romarino giovinco humdala i love saying his name it just feel it just feels nice to say his name it's weird but uh my gone Petros, I, I believe it doesn't. I'm pretty sure Petros has a card already. Um, as you guys can see, like I said, oh, Igor Rossi, wait, he wasn't on. Oh, he was on there. Oh, he's terrible. Um, so we've got Hoanka coming in at 39 million coins on PlayStation, a little bit expensive. Uh, I mean, a big upgrade, fair enough. He's three star, three star, which sucks. His card's not bad. As I said, I think an artist on him might be nice. I mean, it, it's nice, right? Good passing, 
okay shooting, good dribbling, good pace, okay stam. Could bang a dead eye on him as well. Like, honestly, guys, an 84 rated with an inform for this, I think, is a little bit overpriced. I, I, like, the card just isn't great. It's only three star, three star. You've probably got better in there already. I would probably steer well clear of that. This card, however, first of all, seven pace upgrade, 20 shooting, 23 physical. All right. Um, four star skills, three star weak foot. It's okay. It's not amazing. It's okay. Uh, you bang a sniper on him. You got yourself a decent. Like, I mean, as far as like getting a card for free, th this might be worth doing as well, just so that you can put him in the Premier League team of the season SBC and make it cheaper. What I do like about this card is stamina is real nice. Um, his agility and balance are super. His dribbling is very good. Uh, I do believe that you'd probably want to boost his um, boost his stats like that. That's not a terrible card for free. But once again, four star, three star. Just a bit boring, man. For me personally, the, both of these aren't amazing. Now, they're already hard enough to link. I don't know why EA didn't just make them a bit better. Uh, we've then got Giovinco. Um, now, this Giovinco card, four star, four star, 91 stamina aggression. This is an unbelievable card. That is an unbelievable card. Honestly, I, I'm a big fan of that. He's obviously uh, real short of five, uh, five, 4 I don't know how he's only got 89 rated for a striker. But yeah, top tier pace, top shooting, top passing, good physicals, unbelievable dribbling. That is a fantastic card. That really is. You put a sniper on him. He is, he is going to feel next level good. He really is. Uh, you've then got Hamdala. Now, three star, three star, which sucks. But aside from that, this card is fantastic, isn't it? And he's a common gold. So he'll get pulled a lot. He'll be very, very cheap. Um, th this is a nice card, man. I, I mean, you know, the obvious problems, right? Three star, three star. Hard to link. But outside of that, what a card with an engine. 99 stam, 91 strength. Top end dribbling. Great pace. Good passing. Great shooting. That is a, that is a fantastic card for very, very cheap. Um, Anselmo. Ooh, a silver base card. So there's one silver coming in here. Um, this card's okay. His passing's good. You know, an anchor on him. Yeah, very nice. Three star, two star sucks. But his dribbling's pretty cool. Uh, maybe an engine on him. Um, this is a nice-ish card. For a Brazilian card as well, you can link him to a lot of people. Great passing. It's, it's, not, it's not a bad card. It's just a three star, two star that really lets him down a little bit. Then we've got Gomis. Four star, three star. Obviously sucks. Um, his dribbling sucks. His stamina is not great. This card is absolutely atrocious. There's a reason why it's already 50k on the market. Nobody's interested in that. Uh, Mycon coming in. Um, 25k on the market already. Again, pace is horrendous. Dribbling is horrendous. This card, just generally speaking, um, just won't be the one for you guys. I'd steer well clear of him. Uh, and then Petros. So Petros another common gold, which is quite nice. He's already 30k. Interesting. Yeah, he's not he's not the best. He's not the best. His dribbling's okay, his passing's okay. You could use him as like a secondary CDM with an engine, but there are again, there are so many cards out there. He's three star, three star. There's so many cards out there that are like just way better than him. Um then you've got Amrabat, four star, two star. Lowish stamina for right now. I mean Yeah, it's 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 just not the one, man. His passing's alright, his shooting's alright, his dribbling is good. His pace is okay. He's got four-star skill moves, but yeah, his stam sucks. Uh, his weak foot sucks. His stats in general just aren't amazing. There is, again, a reason why he's coming at 30k. Super hard to link as well. Uh, Carlos Eduardo, another common gold, so it might be worth getting your gold upgrade packs in. Um, three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. The best combination that we've seen so far. He's only 20k. His stats are so average, man. His agility is quite low. His balance is very low. His stamina is quite low. Um... You know, this is just, his passing's like, it's quite well-rounded, but just on the low side, it's it's just, for me, it's just not a very good card again. Again, compared to what's there, uh, Al Ganam, another silver card, which is nice, obviously. Um, great pace, great balance, good agility. A Sentinel Chem style on him. Just not very usable again, hard to link. <laughs> Nobody's interested in him. Igor Rossi, terrible pace, terrible dribbling. No one cares about him. Uh, Abdullah Al-Mayouf, a goalkeeper that nobody cares about again. Probably, 
probably uh, Hamdala and Giovinco are about the only two players I would say are usable out of all of this. Um, Romarinho is not terrible. Um, and Anselmo is not terrible. I, I, I Honestly, that that's all I would give. So yeah, R Romarinho is a free card. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. He's not... He's not. He's just not terrible, right? For a free card, uh, you might want to whack a dead eye chem style on him. You get yourself an all right play. He's Brazilian as well, so you'd be able to link him quite easily to a lot of players. Um, Hamdala, I think, is very, very nice. Uh, it's just sad he's three star, three star. Giovinco is absolutely fantastic, and uh, Anselmo is is good. I, I, I do like this card. I do like this card. I, I, I think he's probably as far as the CDM goes with those stats. I think that's a quality card. I'd say Ansel. It's the skill moves a weak foot that let him down again. Um, but there you go. And then, yeah, the SBC cards, just don't even touch him. Don't even go near him. He is an absolute waste. 100,000 coins for that card is an utter disgrace. This is coming in at 11K, 12K. Obviously, when you get four back, you'll be able to shave that off down to about 7K. Uh, the 82 upgrade, another, again, ev everything today, I think is a ripoff. I think the team that they put out is pretty poor. I think the players that they've chosen and the way they boosted the stats are pretty poor. I think the SBCs are extremely overpriced. The only saving grace is, the only good news is, is that it's there for three days instead of the one day that they said. This, though, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.